Hey, uh, worship training coaches, great to have you guys joining us in worship training. Just wanted to give you a couple things um, regarding what we're going to be doing. Uh, we had amazing turnout. How many people did we have? We had 160 people respond to the answer. 106 people said, hey, I want to do this thing. I want to be trained. I want to be coached. I want to be developed. And uh, so now, sort of over the next two or three months, we're working those people into the process. But we actually, we're, we've done orientation last Thursday, tonight, um, and we start, we kick off with our first round of training starting next week. So we wanted to give you guys uh, a little bit of context for what we're doing and to just say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for signing up to be, uh, to be coaches. This is going to be, I really just believe this is going to be an incredible thing for our team, an incredible thing for, for us as individuals, an incredible thing for our community. Um, I just, I have been thinking so much lately about how there's, there's God-given musical ability, there's God-given talents and gifts um, that would just sort of sit unused on a table, if not for people like you stepping up and saying, hey, I, here's a thing that I do, and I want to help other people uh, do it well, experience the joy that that I get from playing music and using that stuff, using the, the things God has given me to um, to just reflect glory and honor and goodness back to him. Yeah, so a couple things. I just want to reiterate that you got asked to be a coach because you're great at what you do. And Crossroads would be better. The kingdom of God would be better if there were more people like you. And we, what we see in the Bible and Jesus making disciples is it wasn't just simple addition, it was multiplication. So rather than, you know, just like you investing in maybe one person or you just continuing just simply to play here at Crossroads, which is awesome, um, the opportunity to have you reproduce yourself in other people is a huge win. You have things that are unique to you that other people would pay money to learn. And in this context, we get to give away of ourselves freely. So I'm just going to run through what it's going to look like next week and moving forward in terms of, of coaching. And um, so if you, if you've never coached before, um, the only thing required of a coach is that you're a couple steps ahead of the people that you are coaching. So you may not feel like an expert. It doesn't matter. You've got way more reps than any of these people that are coming in do on this stage here at Mason and Oakley. And um, so you, you have an authority to speak into their lives. And we've seen things that we want you to speak into their lives about. So um, the, the coaching happens from 5.30 to 7 o'clock every Thursday night. So if you are scheduled, uh, Downbeat is at 5 o'clock, or is at 5.30, sorry. Downbeat at 5.30. And our people in training are going to need to learn what downbeat time is. They're going to show up at 5.30 and you're going to say, thanks for showing up. You're late because downbeat was at 5.30. We don't have 10 minutes to stand around and watch you figure out how to plug your stuff in. So if you're able to get here before then, you can set up your gear and even let the guys or, or women be there as you're setting up and talk them through your process. This is about relationship and and um, skills. So the more skills you have, or, sorry, the more relationship you have, sometimes the more authority you have to speak into the skills. Um, so talk us real quick through the flow of... Um, what it's going to look like after 5:30? Yeah, so 5:30, um, someone will someone will meet all down at the front of the stage. They will have their own sort of unique access code, so they'll be able to get into the auditorium. We'll meet down at the front of the stage, and at 5:30, um, Robbie or myself or someone else will be on stage at our site saying, "Hey, guys, welcome. We're going to get started now. Pray, and then we will jump in." So stage will have already been set. Gear will have already been set for the first round of musicians that will be playing on stage. And um, the, basically, it, they will play through two songs, two songs that will be com coming generally from that next weekend, from same songs that you might be rehearsing that same evening starting at 7. At 5.30, we will have trainees that are working through some of that same music. So they'll have gotten a band email before. They'll, they're in PCO. They'll have gotten the same reference tracks, chord charts, um, notes, and basically we'll have a band worth of trainees on stage playing through a song and they'll, they'll play, play through a song and then you and the other coaches and the people that aren't currently playing but other vocalists or drummers who are sitting with you, you'll be sitting with them as this, as this person plays, giving, 
giving them notes, hey, see how see how he just sort of laid back into that fill that was perfect. That's that's exactly right. Or do you know do you notice how he rushes the chorus or is swinging when it should be straight? You want to be observing things and offering the other people that aren't currently playing the benefit of that feedback so that no matter if you're on stage or off stage, you are still getting the benefit of hearing um, what's important to you and what you're picking up on as a coach. But one song, and then everybody goes up on stage and debriefs around that, that position. So while the vocalists kind of huddle up around the vocal vocalist who just sang, and you sort of offer feedback. And we always want to keep it um, positive. We, we, we're not beating people down. We are always sort of in their corner, but we are also always honest. We're always honest. It does no one any good to just sort of like, yeah, perfect. You nailed it. No, no, no. We are walking with people through a process. And so we want to see them grow and have specific actionable feedback. So I would just say steer away from great job or good job or like just anything that's vague or generic. Great job at blank. I loved how you did X or Y. That that stuff is gold. Um, and always offer them something that they can that they can work on and improve on. But they'll play a song, everybody will debrief and then We'll play another song, and then everybody will debrief. So they'll get through two songs as sort of a band of trainees, and then the next group will sort of cycle in, and um, we'll, we'll basically do two or three rounds from 5.30 to 6.30 of different bands of individuals playing through those songs. And then from 6.30 to 7, there will be sort of a final time for um, us to debrief, uh, for the coaches to debrief together, and for the music leads to sort of debrief and thank everybody um, who's just been coached, and then um, and then there'll be a there'll be a Google form that that you'll all have. Um, they're they're done, but they're they're basically specific things with a rating from one to five of like how did they do it this, and it's not everything they would possibly need to know, um, but it's important sort of waypoints along the way of progress and process and and the things that many of you guys have actually said. Hey, this was important for me as I began to play at Crossroads, or I really began to succeed and get in the flow of this thing when I did this. So those sorts of things, you'll give them a rating one to five. And again, this is so that we can track their progress and their growth and give them specific actionable feedback. Yeah, no one should be getting fives right out of the gate. Yes. You know, if, if they do, that's spectacular. But um, you, generosity in these things is not a win. Yeah. Encouragement is, but being falsely encouraging is not so yeah. um so all of that happens in the course of about an hour so the time in between runs of songs is five minutes or less yeah. you know it's quick feedback and then um then on to the next song and even transitions between one band to the next yeah. it's hustle so um w this is going to be iterative so as it goes on we will streamline the process we'll you know if there's things that are great we'll spend more time in those things that are not great we will stop doing them. So a lot of that will come from you. Your feedback is really important. Yeah. So this video is already about three minutes longer than we wanted it to be. So um, again, super thankful that you're doing this. We are really excited about what this means for Crossroads um, here locally and Crossroads all across the nation as we continue to grow. So thanks coaches. We'll see you soon.